Hello, my name is Chris Bridgen and this is Reza Avshar and today is part 13 of why Jerusalem belongs to the Jewish people. Now in part 12 we heard that Nehemiah, the governor, the priests, the Levites, their associates and the leaders of the people put their seals on an agreement and bound themselves with a curse and an oath to follow the law of God given by God to Moses and to carefully obey all the commands, regulations and decrees of the Lord their God. And these commands needed a lot of diligence. They had to pay careful attention and to put in the work needed to make sure God's commands were carried out. It would take some getting used to. The people needed strong leadership from men fully devoted to the Lord their God. So now we come to Nehemiah chapter 11 and Jerusalem would begin to be repopulated. Now the leaders of the people settled in Jerusalem. The rest of the people cast lots to bring one out of every ten of them to live in Jerusalem, the holy city, while the remaining nine were to stay in their own towns. The people commended all who volunteered to live in Jerusalem. These are the provincial leaders who settled in Jerusalem. Now some Israelites, priests, Levites, temple servants and descendants of Solomon's servants lived in the towns of Judah, each on their own property in the various towns, while other people from both Judah and Benjamin lived in Jerusalem. From, from the descendants of Judah, Attiah, son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Mahalalel, a descendant of Perez, and Maseiah, son of Baruch, the son of Colhose, the son of Haziah, the son of Adiah, the son of Joyarib, the son of Zechariah, a descendant of Shelah. The descendants of Perez who lived in Jerusalem totaled 468 men of standing. From the descendants of Benjamin, Salu, son of Meshulam, the son of Joed, the son of Pediah, the son of Kaliah, the son of Maseiah, the son of Ithiel, the son of Jeshiah, and his followers, Gabai and Salai, 928 men. Joel, the son of Zikri, was their chief officer, and Judah, son of Hashanua, was over the new quarter of the city. From the priests, Jediah, the son of Joyarib, Jakin, Sariah, son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Mirioth, the son of Ahitub, the official in charge of the house of God, and their associates who carried on work for the temple, 822 men. Adiah, son of Jeraham, the son of Peliah, the son of Amzai, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pashur, the son of Malchijah and his associates, who were heads of the families, 242 men. Amashai, son of Azarel, the son of Ahazai, the son of Meshilamoth, the son of Immer, and his associates, who were men of standing, 128. Their chief officer was Zabdiel, son of Hagadolim. From the Levites, Shemaiah, son of Hashub, the son of Azrakam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Bunai, Shebatai and Josabad, two of the heads of the Levites who had charge of the outside work of the house of God. Mataniah, son of Micah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, the director who led in thanksgiving and prayer. Bakbukiah, second among his associates, and Abdar, son of Shemua, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun, the Levites in the holy city, totaled 284. The gatekeepers, Akub, Talmon, and their associates who kept watch at the gates, 172 men. The rest of the Israelites with the priests and the Levites were in all the towns of Judah, each on their own ancestral property. The temple servants lived on the hill of Ophel, and Zihar and Gishpar were in charge of them. The chief officer of the Levites in Jerusalem was Uzai, son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, 
the son of Mataniah, the son of Micah. Uzai was one of Asaph's descendants, who were the musicians responsible for the service of the house of God. The musicians were under the king's orders, which regulated their daily activity. Pethahiah, son of Meshezabel, one of the descendants of Zerah, son of Judah, was the king's agent in all affairs relating to the people. As for the villages with their fields, some of the people of Judah lived in Kiriath Arba and its surrounding settlements, in Dibon and its settlements, in Jacobzil and its villages, in Jeshua, in Malada, in Beth Pelet, in Hazar Shul, in Beersheba and its settlements, in Ziklag, in Makona and its settlements, in Enrimon, in Zorah, in Jarmuth, in Zanoah, Adulam, and their villages in Lachish and its fields, and in Azakar and its settlements. So they were living all the way from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. The descendants of the Benjamites from Geba lived in Michmash, Ija, Bethel, and in its settlements, in Anathoth, Nob, and Aniah, in Hazor, Ramah, and Gitaim, in Hadid, Zeboam, and Nebelat, in Lod and Ono, and in Gi Harashim. Some of the divisions of the Levites of Judah settled in Benjamin. And that finishes the reading. Now Nehemiah went into great detail, not just in this chapter, but also previous chapters to name people specifically, rather than just say X amount of people. And these were very important times the holy city would now begin to be repopulated. So Nehemiah wants to name everyone who played a part in this, as well as some of those who were living in the surrounding areas. And from the information that Nehemiah gave us, the number of provincial leaders who moved into the holy city was 3,044 men, along with the other leaders who were already living there. The rest of the people cast lots to bring one out of every ten of them to live in Jerusalem, while the remaining nine were to stay in their own towns. And going back to Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 4, Nehemiah tells us that Jerusalem was large and spacious, but there were few people in it, as the houses had not yet been rebuilt. But now that the gates and the walls to the city had been repaired and or rebuilt, and the people were aware of God's laws and agreed to live by them, the time had come to move God's people back into the place he had chosen, Jerusalem, the city of the great king and the capital of Israel, the home of the Jewish people. Well, that's it for today. Please look out for part 14 in a week's time. And it's Nehemiah chapter 12, verses 1 to 11. And again, as always, please forward this or part one of why Jerusalem belongs to the Jewish people onto anyone that you think would be interested in hearing about the history of Israel and the Jewish people. Well, thank you for watching. Take care. God bless. The Lord Jesus wants you to come to him just as you are. He wants you to come to him no matter what you have done in your life, no matter what mistakes you have made. He is kind, understanding and always forgiving. He cares very much about each one of us. Maybe you are unsure if you really have given your heart fully to the Lord Jesus. Maybe you would like to say yes to him for the very first time. Or maybe you would like to recommit your life to the Lord Jesus and start afresh today. The Bible says salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. The Bible also says, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you'd like to hand your life to the Lord Jesus and put your hope and trust in him, then please repeat this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, please 
hear my prayer. I know you gave your life for me and I know that you are alive today. Please forgive my sins. Come into my heart and make your home with me. Thank you for being my Lord and Saviour. Amen.